Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Moostang09 or Sean here and it has been a while. It's been way too long. I think it's like three weeks going on now. But I have a good reason. Well, it's not really a good reason, but it's a reason. And that is I have been without a computer. Since my last video I posted, I have had no way to edit anything whatsoever. Um, so what I used to do was I would borrow the iMac from the church, which my father-in-law owned. Well, what happened was, is he merged, we merged churches. So we have this church and this church and they came together. So now they're, they're one church. So I don't get the iMac anymore. The other church has full access to the iMac at all times and I no longer get to borrow it. Therefore leaving me without a way to edit. Now, I do have another computer at home, but it's a pain in the neck. It would take me almost this whole time to edit one video just because it's so old and you have to compress all the footage and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I have a solution. And today was the day that I could figure out the solution. If you follow me on Instagram, then you already know what's going on. Um, you've been able to keep intact with everything that I've been doing. So uh, if you don't already, follow me on Instagram, Instagram Moostang09 or Twitter. I don't post a whole lot on Twitter, but I do post some things. I like to follow you guys back and see what you guys are doing and all that fun stuff. We can spin in circles. Ooh, now y'all are all sick. I feel bad because now I'm sick. And I just got my hair cut. You see my hairs? Got all my hairs cut. So it look good, styled up. All I'm doing is extending the suspense of how we're going to continue to edit video and that is with this bad boy yes a sack and it's not just a normal sack it's an apple sack let's pull it on out of here oh look it's even got my name on it and everything but this right here this is where all the magic happens this is how i'm going to make some awesome videos for you guys and so uh, I'm super pumped I'm really pumped to be able to uh, to bring you guys videos again it's just been way too long and I've missed it and I have to say a huge thank you there's been a couple people that have actually reached out and been like hey Mustang where you been is everything okay are you sick um, is there anything you need help with so for so on and so forth and uh, one of those people was a guy named Dennis and then another one is a guy named uh, Anthony and they're both been good subscribers. They've been around for a while since I think like the original 100 or something like that. So if you guys don't know, I passed 400 subscribers, which is awesome. And I'm just so excited because we're right on track with me hitting that thousand for the first year. And I've passed over 500, I think almost a month ago or no, like a week ago on Instagram. So you guys are, you guys are following me back on my other forums. And on or my other social media sites, so I really appreciate that. So thank you. I wanted to give you guys a quick update. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday, and tomorrow I am going to the local, um, sorry, the local eighth mile strip. It's called uh, Texas Raceway. It's in Kennedale, Texas, and the guys from Street Outlaws. So if you don't know what Street Outlaws is, it's a drag racing show ba based in Oklahoma, and they are all going to be at Kennedale. So. I'm gonna go with a buddy, go watch them drag race. It's a no prep eighth mile racing, and it should be good. There should be some fun times had out there and seeing who actually takes home. I'm cheering for uh, Chris or uh, Boosted GT, and I'm just excited to see all the cars. It's gonna be a really cool experience. And next weekend, so one week from today, we, not just me, but you guys and myself, along with my wife, so you'll get to meet her soon, um, we'll be in Austin and we will be in Austin, Texas for Summer X Games. It's so exciting. I can't even believe they're in Texas this year. Who would have thought the X Games would have came to Texas? But they did and I have tickets and so we are going to go and we're going to experience everything we can experience. Now I don't know if they're going to be able to let me take the DSLR in because it looks kind of intimidating with the uh, microphone on top and it's got the removable lens and so they like to complain about that but I'll definitely have a GoPro or some sort of camera footage for you guys and I also plan on when I recoup some money from buying this bad boy right here because this thing is not cheap I plan on recouping some money and getting like a little vlog camera something just a little handheld point and shoot that can fit in my pocket so I can take with you guys or I can take me you guys with me and we can experience some more stuff rather than just riding around in a car I think it'd be kind of cool 
to take you throughout my day and some of the fun things that I do while I'm actually doing them. So it's not just boring to hear me talk about it, but you actually get to see it. Nothing new on the Mustang. Just a couple more miles, nothing crazy. I am reviewing two cars. So one is my wife's Ford Fusion, which you know about. The other one is a surprise. I'm not gonna tell you, but it's really small. It's like, it's almost like a mini car. So just take that, run with it. I'm halfway through filming that. The next thing I have to film is me actually driving it and then reviewing the car itself. But look forward for those videos. I'm really excited. So look forward to uh, the drag strip video, my wife's Fusion, the other car that is unnamed. But there's some cool stuff coming and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. And I'm really excited that you guys are excited by asking me where I've been and, and following me and continue to follow me even though I didn't give you guys a heads up, which I apologize for, and you stuck around through the downtime of there being nothing. So I don't plan on there being anything, any uh, downtime anytime soon. I got the MacBook for a couple of reasons. One was because uh, I can travel with it. I really wanted to get an iMac, but it, that you couldn't even travel with that. And sometimes I have to go out of town for work. And when I go out of town for work, I want to be able to edit you guys a video and possibly a vlog. So. That's why I bought the MacBook. Eventually I'll get an iMac again, but uh, that can wait for a little while because this thing should do pretty good. Let me see here. Oh, you guys might be wondering some of the specs on this bad boy. So what it is, I'm gonna read it off to you. It's a uh, MacBook Pro with Retina and it has the, uh, it's 13.3 inch. It's a 2.4 gigahertz with eight gigabytes of RAM, I think. I'm not, I don't know this stuff. And it's got 256 gigabytes of flash, something like that, guys. But that's what it is. It's all right here on the side. So it's got my name. Let me focus this in. And then those are the specs. So the way it works is there are, uh, as far as I know, there's three different kinds of MacBook 13.3 inch ones, or uh, the Retina ones. And this is the middle ground of that. So there's like a, a base model, a middle ground, and then a high end. And uh, <clears throat> so I haven't even opened it out of the box yet. I'm pretty excited for that. So uh, actually, let me set you down and I'll cut this open and then we can take a look at it and you can see it in all of its glory. So give me, let me, give me one second. Just, just wait one second. Just one second, wait one second. Now, I don't know if you guys are ready for this. I don't even know if I'm ready for this, but here, here it is, my new baby. Whoa. So I'm super excited. I think this is the only color you can get it in, but uh, take it out of the box here. So you, you have your iMac, it's wrapped, some plastic. Set it down, nice and gentle. And then you have the power cord, which is actually, um, it's kind of like an extension cable, I believe, as far as I've seen online. This comes out, this is the uh, charging device for it. I think they call it the power brick or block or something. But you can see it has, you can plug into the wall there. But what you can also do is take this out and then you have an extension so you can reach even further. Um, this is your owner's manual, I believe. Let's see here. One, one handed unboxing is always failures. Always failures. Yeah, so you got your, uh, what you have here is your quick start guide, your hello, and then you have, um, oh sweet. So here's some product information guide. And then I got some cool stickers now. Um, not sure where I'll put them, but I'll definitely use them. I love stickers. Um, then you have a cleaner. Oh, it looks like they, they all folded it all pretty and everything in there. But that's a rag for your screen, I believe. Oh, and the other cool thing is this thing has backlit keys on it. So I'm kind of excited about being able to see to type at night. I don't believe there's anything under that. My curiosity is getting the best of me and I want to get it out. Mm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything under there. So here we are. There we go, fellas and girls, ladies and gentlemen, the MacBook Pro 13.3 inch retina. Get out of here. Oh, she's so pretty. Look at her. Really excited about this, guys. So, there we have it. MacBook Pro 13.3 inch Retina um, with a bunch of other numbers to follow. 
if I knew what they meant, I would explain it. Some Somebody, I'm sure one of you guys can do that in the uh, comment section below for me. Also, I gotta thank Dennis one more time. Dennis even offered, he, uh, I think he said he works in the computer field with like IT and tech, tech support, like helping people fix computer problems. And I wish I had a computer problem that could be fixed physically as if it were an issue, but what I had was my computer was totally basically yanked. So I was, uh, but I can't, I'm not mad about it. The church was kind enough to let me borrow it for the year or so that they, they let me. And it's been great. I do have Final Cut Pro to put back on this so I can edit stuff for you guys. And I'm really excited to be making videos again. Um, it's just been too long and you can kind of see it in my attitude. My wife can kind of see it. My, my friends and family are like, what's bumming Sean out? And it's like, I view, I view YouTube as more than just YouTube. Like somebody asks what you do for fun and it's like I tell them, I run a YouTube channel. And they're like, what is, what is running a YouTube channel? And to me, running a YouTube channel is kind of like running a TV show. And I want to be regular and I want to have regular episodes come up for you guys and keep you guys entertained because that's a goal of mine. It's a passion of mine is to entertain people and uh, make them laugh and make them happy and basically make them have a better day. As uh, Roman Atwood would say, it would be to smile more. And that's what I want you guys to do and by making exciting car videos. And so as long as I'm doing that, I'm gonna be happy and I hope you guys are too. So once again, thanks for sticking around. Next time, if there's ever a leave of absence of any kind of length of period of time, I will be sure and let you know. Once again, Smooth Stay 09 or Sean here. And I thank you so much for watching my vlog and sticking around and waiting to see more action from me. So. Remember, stick around, there's more to come. As always, appreciate it guys, and take it easy. See you later.